always check behind that too. See these hats back here? They're not blue or gray dot, but I'm just making an example. Those aren't supposed to be there. Yeah, um, I'm good with that. I already checked. But you have to look high, low, between, underneath, everywhere. No matter how people are looking at you, shop, you know, you're shopping. You just got to forget it. When I first started, I would be, like, scared to be looking through everything, too, because people on the aisle are people looking. Y'all see me now, right? Talking to myself. Well, I'm talking to y'all, but they don't know that. And I don't care. And half of those people, I be hoping they're behind me in line when I get to the register then they see while I was going hard like I was and doing like I'm doing right now when they see everything ringing up 0 0.01 zero yeah it's a lot of shoes mixed up somebody behind me I can feel it I knew it. Mm, I've never seen those with the hearts on it before. Or these with the stars in them. Didn't I tell y'all I'll be back? And y'all still crept up on me. Bye. Y'all see it? Okay. Only I felt like it was worth it to look through these shoes just because of how much stuff I was already finding. Um, yeah. We must don't have any penny shoppers in this area. That's not. So I'm going I to um, uh, uh, but drop some. And then especially these black and white shoes right here, you'll see like yellow dot on them, but then you might go three or four pair back and it's blue dot, but it's the same shoe. I find that a lot with these shoes and these. So make sure you're looking through the whole box unless it looks like brand new like they just set the box out but now i moved around and stuff like this i definitely look Ugh. i was about to get rude in a minute because that was rude like look how far i've gone out and look i didn't do that i didn't do that either and i hope they know that <laughs> let me just pick it up but it's like, get, they were right on top of me. And I was right here. They were right here. So I moved down to the next box. Right here. Right here. Right here. I'm like, oh my God. Come on. But if I would have said, excuse me, could you please give me six feet? Somebody would have swore that was rude. And I'm constantly throwing you hints. Every time you come close to me, I'm moving, I'm moving, I'm moving. I wasn't even finished looking through those boxes, but I was still just moving away. <sighs> Didn't I tell y'all I would be back? Look, see, here you go again. Y'all done crept up on me again and got me venting and stuff. Y'all not supposed to be watching me shop right now or drop stuff. 
I told y'all I will see y'all at the register or when I get home. Y'all are so hard headed. I know darn well that ain't no red square just sitting right there. Yes, it is. Red square is a penny too, guys. Red square shoes. I know darn well. Sometimes it happens like that. I don't know. I'm getting nervous. Because I'm finding all this stuff. Either there ain't no penny shoppers in here. Or they just don't pull their stuff or don't care. Or they're letting people find these items and then telling them at the register they can't get them. But y'all know me because I put everything back where I find it and make it even harder for them to find. And call the people on them. You're gonna have me sitting in here and y'all keep walking by me so y'all see what type of shopping I'm doing. Y'all see the items I'm getting. And then just wanted me to do your job for you and pull these items and then not sell them to me. No ma'am, no hand, no turkey. But I don't think this store is like that. I know them, but I don't know them very well. Because it still is the same store where the guy accused my daughter of stealing talkies. Hi, am I in your way, baby? You need to get here? Okay. So. Alright, I think I'm kind of done with the shoes. Yeah, I didn't look through all of them. The bags are off. I hate looking through the bags because I have to pull everything down like this to look through them thoroughly and then put them back. I thought that was a blue dot, blue diamond. I remember blue and gray dot is like winter and fall items. So, you know, this looks like a beach bag, right? So, you know, that will be yellow dot. Ooh, it's just so much stuff. I'll take what I want it. Okay, so I'll be back. First at the bottom. I'm gonna check these. I don't know why they're back here. But I'm gonna check them on that. trying I'm trying to clean this up as much as possible and then put all the pins in here little miscellaneous items in there all these hangers over here because it was literally all of these were upside down and just empty and all of the stuff is on the shelves as you can see like I can't get every last drop and plus the rest of them are the same but I'm at least trying to do this one here. Just putting, it probably don't go in these, but it looks better than just scattered everywhere. And the tall ones, I'm putting like the pins in and stuff like that. Ugh. So yeah, you can tell a penny shopper was here, but it's like, if you're gonna take every single thing out to look, which you don't have to, you can look through the bin, you can look through it without taking stuff out. But at least put the stuff back. Oh my gosh. This is why they give us all the same looks. There's one when we come in the store. Because of people like that, that just destroy their store. See, there's a blue dot right there. I can see it right through the thing. So it's a lot that I'm gonna leave behind. I'm pretty sure there's a lot more blue dots and gray dots because I found some while I wasn't recording so you guys will see it when I get home it's like some of the other items even um, in the clearance section but um oh, it's just ridiculous but 
this point, I'm just like throwing stuff in any container. Because it's just everywhere. Yeah, I gotta go. If I keep going, it's just gonna be more and more mess. See, it's like just all loose stuff everywhere. I can't sit here all day and do this. That's a donut, and I know this got to be a gray dot. It don't have a tag on it, but that's definitely a gray dot. Like this. But for something like that, if they're like, oh, I can't ring it up, I'm not gonna argue over that. This is a great dot too. But see, it's broken. It's a pin that goes to this. It's probably back here somewhere, I don't know. And there's the box with the donut piece. Is it back here? Or is it, uh, I don't even wanna look. find the bows like to like later like if blue and gray dot bows like are how they are pinning right now I'll find those probably when the new blue and gray dots come out or next summer that's just how it is all right y'all let's see y'all and I don't know about y'all I haven't tried in a long time going through self checkout with penny items but they ring up a regular price for me I think it's like a dollar two dollars I um, remember recording. I was like, oh, no, let's cancel this. Make sure you go to the regular register. I'm not sure if it's changed since then. This has been about maybe two years ago, a year ago, maybe. I don't remember. But, um, yeah, everything that I had in my cart that was a penny was ringing up full price at self-checkout. So beware. Yes. I wish I could have found the top to this one, though, but it's fine. Uh oh, sorry. And you could take the um, hangers off. I'll take them off too. Gotcha. I normally keep them on the kids' clothes and stuff like that. But some of the stuff don't have tags, but some of it does. Um, sorry. Oh, and I forgot it doesn't show the price here. It shows it there. Hey. Andre, we need your help probably. I don't have too much stuff. And then like this one that don't have a tag, I got the number here and typed it in. That's how I knew the price. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna go. Just get him first. Get him first. Oh, I forgot I'm right here by this darn music. Okay, all right guys, look at that, that one, that one, and I'll show you guys the rest later because I'm buying music right now. Yeah, and that's normally how they do if it doesn't have one, like, that was your manager that just yeah, came up? Yeah, system. Okay, okay, yeah, like she told you, just ring up something, you know, extra just to charge me a penny for that. It's like my third day here. This your third day? Mm -hmm. Is that, this your first time seeing items for this price right here? Pardon? Is this your first time seeing items for this price right here? Ring up? 
No, it was just that the, without the tire turning it off. Oh no, I thought it was literally your first time though also, because it's your third day. So you've seen this before then. What? Items ring up for this price. Oh yeah. Oh wow. Normally people don't to like after a month or so of working. No, I catch on food. Let's just say some more. Well that's good. That's good. I think I got one more. See, this is how the tags get caught in the bottom of the cart too. Because it says they're all been in here. That's what I was asking you. I my said, is this your first thing. time seeing items ring up for this price? And you was like, no, but it's yeah, my I'm third gonna, day. I'm so you that. didn't know how much all this stuff was ringing up for until no. just now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm like, really? Your third day? And you've seen this before? <laughs> no. So. Okay. Yeah, you can put it in there. It's gonna be donated anyway. Yeah, and it's not gonna mess it up. I don't think. It's fine. What I'm looking for. Oh, I can't believe I can't find my card or my keys. Oh. Well, you don't know because you just started, but I always pay for the person stuff behind me. Uh -huh. But he was getting out his money, so that's so why I'm like, oh, no, I'll pay for it. Hi, how are you? Huh? She's going to pay for you. You're welcome, no problem. And I'm using this one. I don't know if it makes you yeah, different. Okay. What's up, YouTube friends, family, associates, and subscribers? Sade coming back with another penny video. Hey, with another penny video. I'm so sorry, y'all. My phone went dead um, at the register um, when I was laughing with the new cashier. He said it was his third day. Um, laughing with him about, he was like, oh, because he, he asked me, he was like, are these shoes the same price as these shoes? And I was like, yes, everything you're ringing up is the same price as everything. They're all one price. And he was, he looked at the register. He was like, oh, my God, this stuff is one cent. And I was like, yes, that's what I was asking you. He didn't get what I was asking him because I heard him kept saying, oh, yeah, I catch on easy. It's my third day, but I catch on easy. But he didn't get what I was saying. I was like, is this your first time seeing items ring up like this? I didn't want to say a penny because there was a lot of people in line. <laughs> but then he eventually caught on and... um I also I paid for five people's items no four people's items behind me the fifth guy got out of line and went to the second register once she opened up and three more people <clears throat> got out of line and went to the second register and the second guy that was coming up I actually have his receipt and uh he he was just talking with me and um he had some bread and some cases of water and stuff like that the first guy only had a two liter of soda so I paid for that. That was one ninety or something like that. And he was like, thank you. And he went on about his way. I think he was on a motorcycle because he had the motorcycle helmet. Then this guy, I'm just standing there and I'm waiting on him to finish ringing the guy's stuff up. Then I swipe my card and I hear the guy saying, oh, I'm going to have to use my card as well. So I guess he was going to use cash and card once he saw the total. And I was like, what do you have to use your card for? And um, he saw me swipe mine. He was like, wait a minute, you're paying for my stuff? I guess he thought that I was I I was swiping the, at the wrong time that I didn't know that the cashier rung up his stuff and I was like yes he was like oh wow this is the wrong time to do this um, because we can't give hugs and he kind of like positioned to give me and I went on ahead and gave it to him you know he didn't have on a mask I didn't have on a mask but I made sure I disinfected once I got home I scrubbed my hands and my arms which I always do whether I hug somebody or not we're still out in public. Um, and this was my first day going into all of those stores with no mask on. It was just absolutely too hot. And I was like, no, ma'am, I will not have a heat stroke today and I will not pass out. Uh-uh. So, um, 
he was really grateful um shout out to matt green if you're watching i'm not sure if he watches youtube or not i did not give him my youtube channel name but he caught me out in the parking lot when i was putting all the bags in my trunk and he said hey what's your name and i said Shade. he was like Shade, um i'm matt green and i would like to pray for you he was like if you have a heart like this for everyone he was like you are absolutely amazing he said i was fine like pointing at his bags he was like i was fine but just because you even thought to pay for my stuff and he was like almost in tears he was like we need a lot of people like you in the world and i was like oh that's so sweet and he said Shade. he said my name correctly a few times he said um i'm gonna pray for you tonight and i was like oh well, that is so sweet <laughs> And then the other guy that was behind him, like I said, it would have been five people I paid for. He went into the other line, but he had two cases of beer. And um, I was like, why'd you get out of line? He was like, it's okay. You got me next time, right? And I was like, okay, deal. <laughs> so um, that's what happened. And of course, my phone died, but I found my way back to the interstate and got home safely after I stopped and got some gas. Oh, yeah, I, Q and Lonnie, I need you guys to get those newspapers out of the car. Can y'all go do that while I'm recording? Um, get all the newspapers quickly, please. The lady, um, I don't think those papers were free, but I asked her. I took the insert out the paper and the paper, and I held it up. She was running two registers going back and forth. Like, I could take the next person on this register. I could take the next person. So when I was getting my gas, I put my card in. She ran to the other register to catch someone else and came back to give me my receipt. And I was heading out the door and I was like, are these papers free? And she was like, the ones on the bottom are, but not the top. And I was, and I walked over there and I showed her, I said, I got these papers from right here. And she was like, yep, you're fine. So I grabbed like five more. I was like, thank you. They had inserts in them. I don't know if those papers were free, but this is the second time this has happened. The last time was at Family Dollar. And they told me they were free as well. I held them up, made sure I was on camera. And I said, are these free? And she said, yes. And I grabbed a whole stack full. I didn't grab all of them because they had plenty. But I grabbed a whole stack full. So I don't know if she was just doing that to be nice or if they really were free. Because I know um, certain sentinels and um, the times um, for the newspapers you have to pay for. And Wawa, I remember they were like 4 or $5 um, at Wawa. But this was a different newspaper. But it also had inserts in it. So anyway enough of the blabbing i'm going to show you guys the items that are indeed a penny you guys know the items that don't have a tag i don't show you because i don't know if these are a penny um i'm so glad they let me get the car mats i'm so glad they let me get this this is so cute um he did call the manager up there because he didn't know what to do for the items that didn't have a tag so she actually grabbed this and she was like just scan this twice um because at that time it was two items that didn't have a tag and um so he scanned this twice and he did that with the rest of the items this i'm not sure this didn't have a tag and alani was like yay we finally got an ice cream scooper this is a penny this is like the little um silicone spoons if you find these or the spatulas or anything these i know for sure are a penny okay let's start here with the socks the wee tot socks wee tots okay it's a six pack toddler verbiage no show socks and this is a white star and um the last four of the upc number is 4474 i give the last four of the upc number so if you find this pack you see it's got a pink tag you see it got a white star and you come back to my video while you're in the store and say hey yep 4474 and for some reason you can't scan then that's when you can go ahead and take the chance to go to the register and these should be a penny but always scan anyway because sometimes items may be a penny at one store and may not be a penny at another one. But right now, it's a lot of white and gray star socks that are a penny, but not all of them as I showed you in the store. <clears throat> this was one that did not have a tag, so I was lucky I was able to get those. This is a gray dot, clearly from winter. You see the gloves. If you find these gray dot gloves or scully hats or anything, those should be a penny but um they are starting to put out new gray and blue dot items meaning um you see how that says fw20 these are from fall and winter of last year 2020 so if you start seeing a bunch of these in a box all stacked together and it's like 10 or 20 of them please look at the tag because that may be a brand new box and especially if it says fw21 that would be 
for this coming winter because they do they start setting out winter stuff right now for the coming winter these i don't know what dot these are um or if they are square but they didn't have a tag and i didn't see any other pair like these these i was shocked to see these sitting right there in the front um i haven't been to this store in a while so i was really shocked i'm like wow i'm finding all of this stuff i was just expecting to find some stuff here and there but not all in the same section on the same aisle in the same row so um red square shoes if you find any red square shoes with fw20 they should be a penny okay it's hard for me to find um shoes when they penny and unless i go the same day they penny like on a tuesday which i rarely go penny shopping on tuesdays i told you guys that today is wednesday the last day of school too oh my god somebody come pick up my children <sighs> okay so um yeah i rarely go on tuesdays um so i don't know if these were missed when blue and gray dot first penny or these were accidentally sat back on the shelf these could have been in the back room and they just saw a pair of shoes and the employee just walked to the shoe aisle and sat them in a box not even realizing that these are a penny there's no more blue and gray dot shoes or red square shoes that should be out right now so if you find those you're in there here's another gray dot and you don't need the upc number but there it is anyway all you need to look for is the color when it comes to apparel shoes accessories and stuff like that clothing you just need the dot and that year okay um, and i'm only saying the year because they could be coming out with new gray and blue dot stuff um as we speak this is gray dot these are accessories sweetest cupcakes the last four five one seven zero again you don't really need the upc number you just need the dot this was under the box this is also a gray dot last four five six six eight I was shocked to um, find this. I remember these have been in the clearance section forever. And I'm like, when are these on a penny? Um, this is my first time finding one of these, I believe, with the tag. I found some without the tag, but this is my first time finding it with the tag. And you see the retail price is normally $2. Um, the last four is $7,921. <clears throat> this is something else that don't have a tag, but that's um, Baby Soleil. She's four, but I still call her Baby Soleil. And this is her theme, Minnie Mouse. It's like little silicone rubbery thingy. I don't know. This is cute. I'm putting this on my keys. Don't have a tag. This has a tag and it's yellow dot. So um, I'm assuming that this is an old yellow dot. Does it have the uh, year on there? Let me look without the camera. Sometimes it's hard for me to see through the camera. I don't see it um maybe you guys do but i don't um but this is a yellow dot unicorn and it rung up for a penny okay is this the one where they poop oh the thing is missing the little squishy thing that squirts out sometimes it's in their butt sometimes it's in their mouth um this is also a blue dot well i don't know why i said also the last one was yellow dot this is a blue dot unicorn. If you find any unicorn items or donuts, they could be a penny. So just keep your eyes open. Not all, but some. Just like that big unicorn um, backpack purse thing. That's a yellow dot. Okay? But just keep an um, eye out for little stuff like this. Okay, the tags fell off those two because I'm pretty sure I had those on there. This is another blue dot, little keychain thingy. And I got two of those, same exact ones. Um, this one, I don't think I checked. This one I did, I believe, and it came up for a penny, if I'm not mistaken. I checked two and then I stopped after that. So you can always go on the app, click the barcode and then click enter barcode and after you enter barcode click submit barcode and the price will come up 
And right now, again, you guys, it's supposed to show 0 0.01. When items are a penny, it's supposed to show one cent, but it's showing 0 0.00, like as in free. But it's not free. It's going to ring up a penny at the register. So I got those items um, from typing in the UPC number. Um, they did not do it at the register, but I was prepared just in case they did. Normally they don't. When you have a bunch of stuff like this, in their minds, they're like, oh, well, she got all of this for one cent and all this rung up for one cent. So she must be right with these items, you know, being one cent. So I'm not about to sit there and hold up the line and type in every single number. Um, I was happy about these. I guess just because the the um, thing came on it. I wonder if it just goes to this or somebody just put it on the hanger. I'm not sure. Bobby Brooks sleepwear, three-piece sleep set, shirts, shirts, shorts, and scrunchies. No, see, this went to a short set, but it was on my hanger, so I got it, along with some other scrunchies that didn't have a tag on it. All right, all right, and those are so comfy. This went to that hat. I don't know. Alani, yeah. where's that big hat? The straw hat. So that means you guys left stuff in the trunk. You need to go check before my video ends. Q, go with her. It's, it was a house. <clears throat> but make sure nothing else fell out as well. They always do this, guys. When I'm doing a video, I'll find stuff after I've uploaded the video and was like, uh, yep, that was supposed to be in this haul. Okay, so the next item are these. And this is something else I've seen in the clearance aisle forever. Um, and it was a penny. Quick find the matching image. So this is a little game that we can play. One to four player game. The last four of the UPC number is four, two, five, three. Star Wars. Um, I got Q another bending um Star Wars book before. Well, I think yeah, it's like a coloring book. And he got a lot of Star Wars stuff for Christmas, so that was like right on time. So this is this will go to him. Last four, three, two, four, three. So um, a lot of Bendin books, that's the brand right there, have penny. Um, and a lot of the um, crossword puzzles have penny. Oh, so yeah, I, was, I didn't need to show them because I'm pretty sure this is probably a yellow dot because this looks like spring and summer. Pretty sure it's not winter, but it didn't have a tag and they let me get it. Um, and that little piece that went on there, Alani thought it was a dog collar. But I was like, no, that goes on the hat. It goes around the, like, the brim thing of the hat. Okay, always be kind book. Last four is 5441. And guess it's a little dirty and messy. Remember, guys, just like you would do on a regular day, at least I hope you would do, is clean your hands when you go to any store, but especially when you're in the clearance section of any store, but especially Dollar General. No shade to Dollar General, because y'all know I love me some Dollar General, but it's so many people that come through there, and the um, employees, they don't have time to keep up the clearance section. You know, they do clean it up, but then as soon as they clean it up, five minutes later, um, a penny shopper, that's clearly don't watch my videos or maybe do and just discard everything I say will come in there and destroy their clearance section and knock over lotions and foods and stuff and that's how I get all sticky and dirty so you know you just got to keep your hands clean once you're going through these clearance sections um this says I woke up like this magical indeed I did last four zero four six nine here Q you can um get the Star Wars book Crossword Puzzles, Volume 101. Are y'all going to give these to Grandma? Yes. All right. Last four is 2314. Is she finished with the other ones? Because we gave her quite a few from a remodel from last year. And she had a bunch. She still has a few left. She does? Mm -hmm. 2314. Is that the same one? It says Volume 102, 2314. 2314. Same UPC number. You see there? And the book's... Are different volume 102 volume 101 but they have the same UPC number okay this one should have it too two three one four yep yeah. okay this one large print crossword puzzle oh same UPC two three one four with the same man on the back okay okay so that gotta be the same too 
This one, last four is five, six, six, three. And this one is so cute, Hatchimals. The last four is zero, two, three, one. And then the Alphabet Learning Workbook. And look how nasty that is up there. That's what I had on my hand. That's what was on your hand? Yes, it was sticky. Yeah, probably. Did you wash your hands? Last four, eight, zero, one, two. If not, then you need to do so. And give me a, um, a disinfectant wipe, please, so you can go ahead and just wipe off that book. So, um, y'all, that's my little penny haul for today. And I had a doctor's appointment. So, um, that's how I ended up at that store. And I'll do that a lot. If I have an appointment somewhere or I'm going out of town anyway, I will um, type in maps on my phone, Dollar General near me and click search and um yeah head to the dollar general near me and i only went to that one no did i go to two uh, like no two. i went to one no i only went to one okay so here's my receipt and y'all always know if there's anything you need to see in particular just ask me and i will let um i mean you can pause it and also, I always say, and I think I'm the only one that mentions this in my videos, if I ever forget to show you a UPC number, remember it is always on the receipt under the item before the dash. So like this one right here, the last four is 7921 for the um, manicure kit. 7921. So let's see. Let's see. Seven nine two one. See? 7921. Right there. Manicure kit 7921. Okay? So sometimes I do forget. And I always tell the newbies or people. Um, hold on. My subtotal was 46 cents. Florida was petty enough to charge me three cents tax. Yes, they were. And my total sale out of pocket was 49 cents for 46 items, you guys. Okay, um, what was I going to say? Oh my gosh. Oh, I always tell people, especially the newbies, they always say, can I get the UPC code to that? Can I get the UPC? Look, if you want to learn how to penny shop and hurry up and get out there and start getting these items, just look at the items in my video that I have and go to your store and you will have in your brain, hmm. I seen this in somebody's video or I seen it in Shadi's video. Let me scan it. Oh, it's a penny. Oh, I remember seeing this in Shadi's video and I remember her talking about the unicorns and the donuts and the ice cream and all the sweet stuff, you know, um, and to scan it, it should be gray dot and some of it may not have a gray dot on it, but let me scan it anyway. Blue dot shoes. I seen Shadi with red square shoes. Let me scan these. The UPC number is really not important. It is, in a sense, like if you can't scan in the store and that's all you're relying on is the last four of that UPC number because you don't want to go up to the register and it's full price. Okay? So, um, yeah, visuals, visuals, visuals will help you. I promise you. Because I see a lot of people saying, I haven't found anything. And then those same people are in the groups, different Facebook groups, asking for UPC numbers, which is no problem. If that's because everybody learns differently, but I'm telling you, it's just going to take you a longer time. You're going to be in the store trying to match numbers and all of this. Just pull out that phone, use that Dollar General app and scan, scan, scan to practice. Just go to the clearance aisle, go to the clearance aisle and just scan random items until you find something for a penny. It may take an hour. It may take two minutes before you find your first penny item. And then go to the clothes. Take your time out and go through every single hanger and look for the clothes and shoes and accessories and apparel and all that stuff. That's a penny right now. And right now, blue dot for clothes, shoes, accessories are a penny. And gray dot for accessories, clothes, shoes are a penny. And red square. I was so surprised to find red square. That's supposed to have been gone. Okay? And these are like accessories too. So this is running with the clothes and shoes. When clothes, blue dot pennies, the shoes and accessories and all that pennies as well. 
Also, look through the purses. This did not have a tag on it, and I'm pretty sure it's not blue dot. I'm, I'm not sure. I didn't see any more like it. So, if anybody knows, let me know in the comment section. But make sure you look through the hats, the shoes, um, the purses, the backpacks, because you may get lucky and find a blue or gray dot backpack, okay? And look through the um, books and take your time and scan, all right? So if you guys have any questions, whether you are a veteran, you're new to this, you're old to this, you're in the middle, in between, always ask me and I will try to get to your question, I promise. And if someone else is in the comment section and you see someone's question and you think you know the answer to it, please feel free to answer the question because sometimes I can't get to it right away. And someone may be in the store right then and there and need it answered right then and there. Um, so I appreciate you guys that do do that and help out as well. Um yeah, I think that's it. So um, please subscribe if you haven't already. Please go get Soleil because she's going to want to end this with me. Okay. So let's All these newspapers. I was so happy. Let me see. I don't know what inserts are in these, but I'm going to look and see if there's anything good, honey. So, um... I used to do my insert videos, and I y'all know that's been watching me. I used to send um, coupons to anybody that asked, and all I asked was for a small donation of anything. Some people sent me a dollar, some people sent me ten dollars, and I would send them as many inserts as I could um, in the mail. But I stopped doing that because um, not that many people was watching the video. Not that many people was asking for inserts anymore. They would go pay so much money for inserts. So I, I quit doing it. Yeah, literally, if you go on the search button on my channel and type in inserts or here are your inserts. That's what I used to title the videos. You'll see how far back it was. All right. So um, please subscribe. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you like it, if you dislike it, hell, give it a thumbs down. Just give me some type of feedback to let me know how your girl is doing. And please tell a friend to tell a friend about Sade with the receipts. And please share, 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 share if you yeah. dare, honey. Peace. And I will see you guys on the next video. Toodles. Toodles. I love you all. Bye. No, we say see ya, not bye. Bye is forever, remember? See ya. You got to keep your hand way out here so they can see you. <laughs> see ya. See ya. What's your name? Charlay. And how old are you? Four. They can't see. Alrighty. Alright. So we'll see you guys later. Thank you so much and happy hunting. Happy hunting, Toodle. Peace, too. Peace. No. Oh, real quick. Um, The picture that I'm about to insert after this was of a lady squatting and peeing. She walked right by me with a handful of napkins and she was holding her dress and she squatted down. She looked right at me and she pulled her dress all the way up and squatted to pee. And I was laughing so hard because I just remember the days going fishing with my dad and having to open the front door and the back door and squat down between the doors to pee because we were nowhere near a bathroom. But the lady that she was riding with came out, was getting in the car and she started looking around. I guess she didn't see her in the car and she was like, Where'd she go? And I was laughing and she was like, oh, she can't hold it. She couldn't hold it. I guess she couldn't make it to inside to ask them for the key and to use the bathroom. But I was just like, cause she was, we were on a main road. So it was so many people that was right there that can see her. It was an open area. And I was on the phone at the time. So while you're on the phone, it let me put it on speakerphone and take a picture. But I could not record and get it. I wanted to record so bad because it was just the funnest thing in the world. And it brought back memories. So that's what you guys are going to see after this. All right, I'm going for real now. <laughs> just to have a laugh. Not picking at her, but it was funny. And the lady she was with had a laugh with me too. <laughs>